Hey everybody, welcome back to Das Lab and part of the 750 Nighthawk S restoration. Uh, so we're back onto the throttle cables today. Uh, this is the, they call it push-pull, but it's not push-pull, it's pull-pull. You pull the throttle open and when you turn it you're pulling the throttle closed in case the return spring dies and it doesn't get stuck open. So uh, in another video I uh, what had happened is I bought new cables, so I thought, um, for this. Uh, I had a cable in a spare part. I got a bunch of parts a number of years ago, and I got a cable here that uh, I thought was my push cable, or the th throttle return cable, we'll call it. And um, I was looking on the on the internet for trying to get the right size cable and the guy had uh, listed the cable with the length of the um, casing and the total length of the cable and the length of the um, how much push pull there is in it and it was exactly what I needed so I get the cable and I try to install it on here um, and that's the, the pull cable that's working perfectly now. I didn't film that. It was three hours of me uh, doing brain surgery on this thing. And um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. The, sh the sh sheath was too, was too small and the cable wouldn't reach. And after two days of fooling around, I realized this is not my old throttle close cable. This was my choke cable. And even the fitting on the end wouldn't fit. So. I bought another choke cable that I didn't need because I replaced that uh, probably 12 or 14 years ago. So I don't know where the original parts for the throttle closed cable are. I ended up making a brand new throttle closed cable. I got a new sheath. I took some old, uh, this came off of the new one that I bought that was too short. I uh, used that one. I got a couple cable ends in there. And in a whole other video, I had to make the barrels for that. So I'm not doing it in this video because the other video is not Nighthawk specific. It's just how to make cable ends. And I have a test jig for doing that that I put away, but you can see how I did that. And they will hopefully fit. So now the question is, did I make this cable the right length as I try to shoehorn it through a labor laborious uh, task to get that cable put back into that bike? So that's what I'm working on already. I got the, uh, the, the, the uh, I had to cut and make a new uh, pull throttle. That throttle has never snapped back so beautifully. Um, it's always stuck. I had like kind of cruise control, which is probably illegal, um, but I got it working. It's the right length. I got a tiny bit of play there that I could adjust. I got enough play. And now we're gonna put the other one on and just see if it actually We'll go. So I'm not going to film any of this because um, it's just me humped over like a dog screwing a football over there for uh, two or three hours trying to get the cable end which comes in from the bottom which you can't get at. Uh, barring taking the carbs out with those solid boots, uh, it's probably not going to happen. So maybe I'll show you a bit when I get up in here but depending on how the night goes, maybe not too. So. Hopefully I'll come back when I got the second throttle cable back in. All right. Okay, so I got the push pull on. Everything is tight. Carbs moving back and forth there. Cables are secured on. I got everything tightened up in here. A uh, little bit of slack. Before she comes, goes all the way back. Doesn't snap back the way I thought. Um, I think the cable I put on is a little bit stiff. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, maybe lubricate it, something like that. I do have a thinner cable. I should have probably went with that. Anyways, that's the throttle cable uh, done. If I have anything else to report on that, I'll let back to you. Uh, get back to you. We're getting very close to putting the gas tank on this baby and firing it up, and then we're gonna sink those carbs. Okay. That's all I got for you this time. Have fun. 
Stay safe. Don't get any on you. See you next time.